finishing up this review, we're, we're well into our second third, almost into our last third. Uh, no issues with the burn or draw. Smoking fine. Draw has been very good the entire cigar. That's a positive. Um, about to sneeze. Give me a second. Okay, I lied. I don't have to sneeze anymore. So, talking about this cigar, towards the middle and where we're at now, um, still has some charred wood, but the charred wood calmed down a little bit. Um, the black pepper and the red pepper still just a little bit there. Um, the sweetness picked up though, so it's quite nice. Overall, the cigar is going to stay at a 4.4. I'm not over impressed with the cigar, and I'm not under impressed. Like it's not like, oh, this is garbage. I think it's it's a solid mid tier cigar at 4.4. That you know, you check it out in this size. I will say, in my mind, before I smoked this thick, I really thought because of the size at 44 and a Connecticut broadleaf and a Mexican San Andreas binder, I really thought in my mind. I gotta say, so that's a zoom out situation here. Um, I zoomed in too much, and I really thought in my mind it was going to be stronger. And so it was, and I really thought like full strength or really super heavy, meaning the full, you know, I really thought it was going to be like pushing it because the size and the type of tobacco. So that's not the case. That's my fault um, because that's, I assume, right, because of the size and the type of tobacco. So, it, you know, if you were looking for a very strong cigar, then no. But the cigar is pleasant. So that's what I could say about it. I did like it. I wouldn't say uh, I super love this profile. Um, and that's going back to where I thought it was going to push a little more. However, though, I have nothing outside of that preference of where I thought it was going to be stronger. I can't say anything bad about it, though. So if you get in your mind, you know, you can enjoy something that feels somewhat more between a medium plus and medium full, but not a strong medium full. With about 70% darkness overall, I think a little darker. Um, yeah, you're gonna enjoy it. It just wasn't, I already said it, in my mind, it wasn't in your face enough as I thought it was going to be. And that's, that's on me. The sweetness is really picking up here towards the end. Um, and it's a rich sweetness, right? more like, um, like a, a sugar in the raw sweetness, you know, that, you know, that's nice. So the sweetness is quite nice. Um, I guess also my mind, being that it's a connected broadly, I really thought maybe be absolutely a lot more chocolate overall. And with the transition, here, um, that's not the case. So, I guess if you're looking for something that, that's not going to be what you expect out of a Connecticut raw leaf, um, but still a, you know, a good cigar, then, then yeah, you're going to enjoy this thing. At the price point, it looks like I think $12 to $14 can be take, probably getting cheap online. Uh, you know, it, it, it is uh, like at that mid tier, solid mid tier, mid tier pricing, the middle of mid tier, and um, I guess it's a pleasant surprise, meaning it's a pleasant cigar overall, and it's a surprise that it wasn't as strong as I thought it was for the size. So it, as long as you're not going into this cigar looking for a lot of power, then you're going to enjoy this thing. I will say that the very heavy charred wood note that was more in the beginning in the first half, it kind of took a back burner and the sweetness increased in the second half. So, nothing bad to say about it, except uh, presumptive, uh, I guess, 
assumptions, which would be all the end users for, not the cigar. Because the cigar is the cigar, right? So I guess, you know, you, you can't expect, you know, an axe to be a chainsaw. That kind of makes any sense. Although, they do similar things, but anyways. Very nice smoke output. The draw has been effortless. And um, I did notice, because I was on the phone with uh, Dream Life uh, for a little bit, and the last, like, four, like, four and a half, four and three and a half inches to, like, where I was at, right when we started the video. So I was on the phone with him for about two inches of the cigar. Um, I noticed that the, the, the latter half smoked a little faster. Um, and I was on the phone with him, so I was talking, so it wasn't like I was puffing all the time. Um, so that was interesting. The finish has a nice finish overall. The charwood finish that calmed down. But the sweetness picked up on that. Which is a little bit tingling spice on the finish. Hanging out. This cigar is making me sound like a liar because right there in that puff, all that charred wood I said that went away came back in that one fucking puff. Okay, this cigar, I never seen a cigar like transition and then transition back. So okay, okay, it sounds like uh, sounds like uh, Scarface. Okay, I'm reloading. Uh, all right, what? Well, right there in that puff. <laughs> I guess that's a little inconsistency, but it also it's consistency because it came back. Yeah. Oh, it's really picking up now. We're in here in our last third. And it's really ramping up. And the charred wood came back. And really, a lot of the black pepper came back. So... That's why sometimes when I cut off the cigar and I still have an inch and a half or two inches left, sometimes you still have some some fireworks that might happen. And so that's why I'm glad I did this video in two parts. I just didn't feel like uploading a 30 minute video. It just takes more time to do. So nothing bad to say about the cigar. It is interesting. The band was cool. Uh -huh. It is a metal band with lots of glue. It is actually, it feels like made of metal. So, and there's a lot of glue on that. And it was actually very hard to get off. I had to put the ash down. I, I had the ash, the band was, I had the ash about four inches almost, maybe three and a half. But I had to, I had to drop the ash to get the band off because it was really rather sticky. So a really cool band, I, oh yeah. <laughs> really sticky. There's a lot of glue on that. They had to put a lot of glue you can see that there to make this stick. So <clears throat> this cigar, I guess, will set off a metal detector. It's got that going for it. Really heavy smoke output. So kind of intriguing how it did that, how it gave, took away a little bit, and then it brought it back. <laughs> so. It's going to be a 4.4, so I think it's a solid rating. It's not an amazing cigar, but I think it's a very good cigar overall. Um, of it's doing something. It, it, it's it's not overpowering, but it's definitely kind of unique with the sweetness of that sugary sweetness and that charred wood, and then you're adding the black pepper. It's kind of cool. Just, just different than what you expect from Mexican San Andreas and a Canadian Borley wrapper with only 44 gauge. But I guess because in my mind, like I had like the, you know, those Ligas the, 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 the skinnier size, or I'm trying to think of all those other, other darker cigars in the skinnier size. Off the top of my head, I can. Oh, I guess the Davidoff one, yeah. 
was that a millennium or something like that? The skinnier size, Lancero or something like that? Or it was, it was a lot darker and stronger, so. So I could recommend it, but it wouldn't be like, go buy a box. See if you like it, check one out. You know, if you're in a store, see it's for you. I mean, it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. It's not gouged. You're talking about $13, $14. See, see, try one out and see if it hits your profile. I would say it is a, it is better than average. It, it is definitely, I feel like it's a good, it's a good to very good cigar and see if it, if it hits your palate, just right. Now my palate was very clean for this cigar. I didn't have any cigar before this. Nothing in 24 hours, so very clean, nicotine free, so I was a very fair judge of this. Uh, and I appreciate Anthony P. sending this to me to review for my honest review on this. I think I think it is an interesting, kind of unique cigar, but not going to give you what you think as far as a powerhouse in a 44 gauge <laughs> with a Connecticut boy leaf. And I keep saying that, but just, so it's just, you know, most people when they see a smaller gauge, darker cigar with a very thick wrapper, in your mind, you're thinking, oh, it's going to be this. It's not abrasive. It really doesn't go against the grain. It doesn't... It, even when it hit medium full, the flavor is not like hitting you in the face like a Padron will hit or something like that. Or um, something in that category. The flavor of the smoke... It does definitely have a little bit of an airy feel to it, though. So, if you do buy them, I wouldn't age them for like a year and then smoke them. If you try these out, I would smoke them right away. And uh, these things are ready to be smoked as is. And this cigar, definitely, you can see the smoke out, but it was not overly moist. It was ready to be sacrificed. Make sure you smoke it to the last third, to the nub. Because so overall, the last part, last third has been the best part. Uh, yeah, I, you know, of course, I say I wish, but if the cigar was pushing the whole time, like it was in the last third, I think it would have been even more impressive. But that's okay. But I think, like, once again, in my mind, because of the small gauge, generally, with a small gauge, you're going to sacrifice time and get less, less tobacco, less time for your money, but generally you get more exciting time so um, with that being said the last there was really really nice we're done here 4.4 very respectable number definitely worth checking out if you see it see if it fits your palette if it fits your budget check it out uh, cool metal band no problem with the construction, no problem with the draw. If you're not, if you're looking for something that's, I guess, semi-bold, but nothing against the grain and you want to relax with it, then sure. Uh, I always say there's two kinds of cigars. There's cigars that are the moment, very strong in your face, and there's cigars that back up the moment, you know what I'm saying? They'll then enhance the moment. This one's kind of in the middle of that. It's kind of, it's not exactly relaxing in the back, but it's not exactly in your face, so. Because there are some aspects of this, you're like, oh, that's, that could be pretty bold with the charred wood. But it, 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 so it's somewhere in between. So if you want something, I guess, really up the middle, as far as between a bold cigar and a relaxing cigar, it might fit your palate. I appreciate this cigar from Anthony P. Thank you very much, brother. God bless you all, and uh, I wish everyone health and happiness. Take care.